All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Crypto Monopoly here. It has been a week since my last video. I've been very busy, but today I'm back with another video, which is comparing the most famous hardware wallets of the cryptocurrency space, which is the Ledger and also the Trezor. Uh, these are both hardware wallets, and if you're new in the crypto space, you might need to watch this video to compare uh, which one you want to buy if you're planning to buy a hardware wallet. So uh, before I'm going to get into this, uh, I want to point out that I'm writing uh, articles on CoinGuck.com. Um, it is a crypto blog website which is uh, quite amazing because I'm explaining uh, in, in dummy language basically uh, the, the, the most important parts of the cryptocurrency space so if you are new into crypto go check out these articles because I'm uh, debunking the, info, the difficult diffi uh, information in the cryptocurrency space in an easy way um, outside of that a good friend of mine he made a website which is clockwork crypto uh, you can buy uh, crypto merch on the website uh, the most Im amazing part of this website is that you can pay with almost uh, 55 different cryptocurrencies so that's quite amazing uh, it, go check it out if you're interested in buying merch so let's get into the content so uh, if you are new to uh, to cryptocurrencies in general um, you might need to know that you need to uh, bring your assets, your bitcoins, to a safe place. Um, one of the best webs or websites, one of the best brands, uh, hardware brands, is Ledger, um, which is maybe the biggest name in the cryptocurrency space when it comes to hardware wallets. So they have quite some reputation. It's a French-based uh, company. Uh, I think their uh, office is in Paris, and um, yeah, they are basically the most popular. Uh, hardware wallet in the cryptocurrency space alongside Trezor. So um, Trezor is another uh, hardware wallet. Um, it is also one of the uh, biggest ones. And uh, what I think the major difference for me uh, between these two wallets is that the the, the code of uh, Open Ledger or Open Ledger, the the code of Ledger itself is not open source. And the code of Trezor, in the other end, is open source, which is which makes it quite uh, more uh, legit in my eyes. Because I, I don't think that Ledger is a, a bad company or something. Or um, but but the thing is, when something is open source, you definitely know that it is legit because there are people that can audit the code itself. So um, for this video for today, I'm going to use bitdegree.org. Um, it has a quite a good article about differences. So let's get into it. Um, I think the most interesting part for you guys to, to check out is uh, the supported coins for Trezor, which is uh, a lot, uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dash, Zcash, until the, even the testnet of Bitcoin. And uh, Ledger has um, also quite a list of coins that is supporting, but um, I don't know if it's the same. Uh, oh, I see already a difference. Uh, Trezor doesn't support Ripple. That's a major part. I don't know if this article is updated, updated by the way. Let's see when the article is made. November 27th. Oh, that's kind of recently. Just uh, two months ago. Anyway, um, so these are the, basically the major differences. Uh, also, the cost of the wallet. Uh, Trezor is at around um, 109 or at um, the official store. But you can, you can buy it on Amazon for $104. I personally, if you are new, um, but also if you are not new in the crypto space, don't buy on Amazon. Please don't do it because these are usually resellers and you cannot trust resellers because you never know if they have tempered with the, the wallet itself and you don't want to end up with a wallet that is uh, already used 
and you are basically putting uh, your money into a fake wallet which the person can hack you in some way don't do it buy from the official store it's just five dollars more but it's worth it um, so the price of Ledger Nano S is the same thing basically it's uh, a bit more expensive than the Trezor 116 US dollar roughly and you can buy it on Amazon for 100 bucks but again uh, same thing don't buy on Amazon, I don't recommend it at all. You need to buy it from the official store to be 100% sure that it is uh, from the Ledger uh, company itself. I mean, seriously, if you're going to invest so much money into crypto, uh, don't be greedy about like $10, come on, man. I mean, if you're investing so, so much in crypto, you need to have a decent safety and you cannot risk it to buy third parties wallets. Or resellers in general so yes as the article says the difference it costs is not very large um, the display screen yeah I, I, I don't really think that the display screen is something to look at because seriously yeah you might like I, I have both I have the Trezor and the Nano Ledger S and uh, I can tell you guys that I like the, the the setup of Trezor, the layout of Trezor. Uh, I like it way more than the Ledger uh, one. Uh, I don't know, it's just a preference kind of thing. As you guys can see, this is from Trezor and th this is from Ledger uh, as a layout on your computer if you're going to connect your hardware wallet. Um, but I, I personally prefer this one. I think this one is more basic um, and I really like it, to be honest. Um, yeah, so that's true. Uh, tr the Trezor wallet is made from plastic, while the uh, Ledger wallet comes from stainless steel body. Um, I have, like I said, I have both. And uh, when I'm putting the code, the the pin code from the Ledger wallet into the computer, uh, it's 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 a very frustrating thing because um, you need to click every time. You know, like you need to click until you have the right. Um, uh, the right number it takes a, quite a lot of time compared to the Trezor uh, to log in into your wallet so I prefer the Trezor one uh, but the, 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 the how should I say the, the safety of both uh, methods um, it, it doesn't really uh, change much both are very safe uh, when you're trying to log in so I like the Trezor uh, way better when it comes to you uh, logging in um, what uh, what else uh, yeah as you guys can see uh, it's the app compatibility um, there are different apps that can connect uh, with the same interface um, as you guys can see Trezor supports almost all apps uh, not the Ledger Chrome ones but the rest of the apps it supports it and uh, Legend Nano S doesn't support multi-bit and my treasure. So, let's see. Uh, the, the, the safety of both wallets are, are the same in my eyes. I mean, you both have um, uh, 24 words as a phrase seed. Um, yeah, it's, it's very difficult to get hacked with these uh, hardware wallets. Unless you have these uh, words, as you guys can see on this picture, uh, you are going to write down 24 words and uh, you need to uh, hide it very good because imagine if this uh, hardware wallet is going to break or you are going to lose this wallet or, or like this, the, the hardware, the USB stick or the, the wallet itself is going uh, I don't know, it's crashing or it's dying or so, uh, in some way, you will need this uh, paper with the 24 words to get your wallet back again. So this is like your plan B if your hardware wallet is lost of, uh, or if, if the wallet itself is crashing or it's broken down. So if that happens, it doesn't really matter, it's okay. But as long as you have these... 24 uh, words as you guys can see on the picture which is going to be set up when you're 
uh, for the first time using uh, and connecting the wallet on your computer. So when you're going to uh, buy the hardware wallet and you're going to connect it to the computer, uh, you're going to write down uh, 24 words which you can never recover again. So that's why it's very important that you uh, hide it in a safe place. Um, yeah, so this is basically the biggest differences between uh, these wallets. Uh, my my biggest preference goes to Trezor because uh, I really like the fact that it is open source, the code of the Trezor uh, program, and I also really like the interface. It, 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 it always worked, um, and I really like it myself. So, um, yeah. This is basically the hardware wallet review and if you don't happen to care about hardware wallets you can also simply use a desktop app or program should I say uh, which is called Electrum. It's one of the best um, uh, desktop uh, program for Bitcoin um, but it is less secure because you are basically using your keyboard which can be um, yeah, which can be traced by a hacker for some... Imagine if a hacker is into your computer. Let's say you have a Trojan horse on your computer, which is a virus that or a keylogger that uh, somebody uh, can basically watch what you're typing. Um, then you can get hacked and eventually you can lose your cryptos. So I recommend you guys to use hardware wallets. Um, as I said, I like Trezor more and... Um, yeah, that's it basically for the video. Um, thank you for watching and uh, I will see you in the next video.